what's up sexy sam Lander squad so tomorrow the patch comes out where boots are removed from the game with that being done i would like to celebrate the time we've had with boots with movement speed pots and with movement speed builds in general you might be thinking oh no not another mercury build not another movement speed build no no it's not that it's not that it is, in fact, under. Now, why, why, what, what, what's going on here, Sam? What's going on? Why are you talking about movement speed, but locking in Fenrir? I think it's best if I just show you. I think, it, I think it's best if I just show you what I'm doing rather than tell you what I'm about to do. Because showing you just wouldn't quite hit the right spot. Or, or I'm sorry. Telling you wouldn't quite hit the right spots, but showing you will. I'm ready to do what's necessary. Okay, so now I have full movement speed. Uh, I have a 1500 pot and blink. <clears throat> does this mean that I'm extremely susceptible to being murdered early on in the game? Yes. Yes, it does. I have no Aegis for the Kraken. And I have no power, attack speed, movement speed. Um... Well, I mean, technically, I do have movement speed. I have the elixir, but you know, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I meant. Um, I'm actually not gonna pick up red buff. I'm just gonna do it. Actually, wait. No, red buff gives you power, right? It gives you power and then increases your power too. It's not just. It's not just like a percentage increase. It gives you some damage, right? I believe. Yes, it got me six power. I have six power now. All right. Now that I am starting there, I'm going to go ahead and put myself even further behind by going a chalice. I quite literally have 1900 gold and no items. Will this work? More than likely not, no. But is it entertaining? Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. If I saw this, if I saw this video and this title and this thumbnail on YouTube while I'm just scrolling through, 115% chance I watch this video, 115. And that is a first blood baby. No items. First blood baby. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. What if we took this a little bit further? What if we took this just a little bit further? What if I tried to win the game with no items? Possible? Maybe. Dumb as hell? Absolutely. Ouch. Very ouch. Lucky you. If I had just more than zero power, slightly more than zero power, and I don't think you would have lived there. I don't think you would have lived. <clears throat> All right, now obviously I can't get a, a 500 pot yet because, you know, I'm not level 10. Do I need it? But we'll see, dude. We'll see. I don't, I don't know if this is actually, like, really possible. I'm very intrigued, though. I'm very intrigued. To see if it is. Um, 
Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. I have no mana. Come here. Boom, mm, baby, let's go. Second kill. Second kill, let's go, dude. Let's keep it going. Level eight, still no items. I do wonder what if, if I go red pot and a 3k elixir and a red buff. Is my power going to be over 100? Probably not, right? Because a red elixir or 3k pot, literally, it only gives you percentage increase. It doesn't give you like 100 base power or anything like that. It's just 25% increase. To be fair, you're also not supposed to not build items in this game, right? Like... The way the game is intended, you're definitely supposed to build items. Um, so it, it, it makes sense why it's percentage based. Doesn't mean I have to like it, does it? <laughs> All right, red buff. I will love my six power, please. Thank you. Six power back at it again. Please keep in mind. Oh, let's go, dude. Another kill. Another kill. And level 10. You know what that means, boys. I got 54 power now. I have 54 power. With a red pot and a red buff, I got 54 power. How much physical? This gives me 40. An extra 25% added on with the 3k elixir. Hey, man, that could be a lot. Oh, look at that. I don't for 104, boys. I think if I'm completely honest with you and also myself, I think the only way I win this game is if he surrenders. does not have beads right i think i remember him using his beads let's go dude let's go all right i am full blown gonna get red pot right right now and I'm gonna get Frenzy. This Frenzy increases my damage by 10%. Red Pot. I have a Red Pot, a Red Buff, and a uh, Elixir of Power. I have 65 power. It's the most power I will have in this entire game. <sighs> Let's make the most of it, shall we? Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. I actually, like, <laughs> unironically did a ton of damage just now. And my red pot, fun fact, gives me 10% more damage to objectives. So I can actually take towers. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I killed him in tower range with no items. Oh my gosh. All right, I do have to back though. I do have to back. 
I will go ahead and upgrade these, I suppose. What, uh, there's not much else to do here. So I'll upgrade those. This red buff right here is going to be huge for me. Combined the red buff with my frenzy and my elixir. I might actually have some potential to take towers and whatnot. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. The blink jump murder. That tower's down. I'm going to go get that red pot. Or not the red pot. I'm sorry. The red buff. Yo, we have 50 power right now. And I think when we get this, what, what was it? 65, right? Or 64? Oh, it's 65. Nice. Okay. I have an extra... How much does that do? 30% damage to towers. And elixir power does how much more to objectives? 25%. I'm doing 55% extra damage to objectives than I am to him. I'm going to hit objectives so hard. If I ever kill him, I might win the game. No cap. Hmm. I would need to kill him in order to do it, though. All right, he's going to Kraken. We're going to run, and now we're going to three. All right, and now we use our 55% increased damage to objectives with our Frenzy in order to completely demolish this phoenix 184 i'm hitting this phoenix for 184 when i have no items literally no items all right i got another 3000 gold so i can i can rebuy my 3k elixir that's pretty pog um in fact, actually, I think I'm going to go for the for the magical elixir here. I'm going to go for the magical elixir. Now that the objectives are gone and I don't need the extra 25% attack, uh, attack damage to objectives, the 25% power really doesn't do anything for me. It really doesn't. I'd much rather have the defense for the Kraken. That's obviously going to rock my head. Bro, I have both 3k elixirs, a 500 pot, a phoenix down, and a red buff. An enhanced red buff, that is. Damn. We got his Krakens, his be We got his Kraken, his beads, and his Aegis. That's really good, though. That's really good. And that's another kill. I'm feeling really nice, dude. I'm feeling really nice. This was not a challenge I ever thought I could complete. But the more times I fight him, the closer and closer it seems to not being completely impossible. All right, now we're back. I'm lucky he didn't go any defense yet. A single defensive item would shut my entire build down, so... I'm very happy about this. I think if I can kill him one more time with the minion wave, I can win the game. <laughs> it's a lot easier said than done, though. <clears throat> My 3k elixir just ran out. Oh, 
Remember, he's got no relics. And that's game, bro. We did it. We actually did it. We actually won a video game. 10 kills. No items. Not a single item. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. We did it, dude. That deserves a like. That deserves a like. That deserves a subscribe. That deserves you to send me everything to my P.O. box. It's in the corner. That deserves... I, I deserve everything, bro. Holy crap. That was insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe. And until next time, guys. Peace.